From wearable technology to telehealth platforms, artificial intelligence is driving the digital health systems that have transformed healthcare. But how much do psychiatrists and other health professionals need to know about how it works? To discuss, I'm delighted to be joined by AMA President Jesse Ehrenfeld. Thanks very much indeed for joining us today. Happy to. So how much has digital health changed healthcare in the US? It's changing things quickly, particularly with the adoption of telemedicine accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic. We saw 10 years of progress in like six months. And fortunately, we have the opportunity to have uh, telehealth still um, as a reimbursable modality for delivering care because of flexibilities that have been extended through the end of calendar 2024. And in my role as president of the AMA, we're continuing to push for the acceleration and adoption of these modalities. And how about AI? How much is AI used in digital health? Well, 40% of practices are using AI today, but it's back-end office, supply chain, scheduling, uh, billing operations. It's not literally clinical decision support. It's coming quickly, though, so ask me this question in a year, and I'll probably have a different answer. <laughs> so a lot of, uh, obviously, a lot of psychiatrists here uh, this week, and a lot of them will be hearing about AI, and a lot of them will be, you know, so what do they actually need to know about it? Well, I think psychiatrists need to ask a couple of really important questions when they see a tool, they see an app, they see a product, which is where was it developed, how is it validated? If they are looking for guidance about implementation, uh, the AMA actually has a whole series of toolkits uh, that are very practical around implementing these tools uh, day to day, which we'd encourage them to check out. My last question is, what's the future of digital healthcare? Yeah, well, I think we're going to continue to see a huge increase in adoption and a reliance on technologies, and we need it. We do not have enough psychiatrists. We will never have enough medical schools and residencies to meet the demands for behavioral health services. And so the only way we will get out of the workforce crisis that we have today in America is to lean into these technologies as a way to multiply the people that we have. Thanks very much. Thanks for joining us. Sure.